Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan. And welcome to another movie review. This time I'll be reviewing with my friend. Uh, what's your name? My name is a uh, kid named The Finger. Right. On uh, YouTube. Right, kid named Finger. Yes. Alright. So anyway, today we will be reviewing the last city which came out this year. Yeah. So this book is basically about a fantasy writer who is kidnapped by some airstorm and there are several people who come to her rescue. Alright. The first character I'm gonna talk about is Rata Sage, played by Sandra Bullock. Now she is a great fucking writer and very popular and I can clearly see that she is very fucking good at it. Mm. Yeah, and she's a so strong independent woman. What do you think of her? Uh, I think uh, she's an okay character. Personally, I didn't really like enjoy the whole movie. But oh, sorry to hear her, I, I think it was, I think it was uh, okay. Now, next guy I'm going to talk about is Alan Parkinson played by Sharon Tatum. Now, he is someone who fucking loves the main character and after he finds out that she has been kidnapped, she goes all the way to that fucking country that she sat to rescue her and, you know, I really like that. Yeah. I love uh, Shining Tatum. He's really good. I like uh, what's that movie where, where he says, uh, "My name is Jeff." Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Now then, I'm gonna talk about the villain of the movie, a big bear fox played by Jenny Ratcliffe. Now mm. he's the kidnapper of the main character and he tries to act so nice. Dude. And yeah, that is so fucking funny. Yeah, he isn't fooling anyone. His nice act isn't getting past me. He is still an asshole. Yeah, I uh, I liked him very much. Uh, I think he was a bad guy, but uh, I like uh, villains in movies. Yeah, do you think he was entertaining? Yes. Now then. So this is an adventure comedy and, you know, I personally found most of the movie to be very fucking funny, yeah. I was laughing a lot. Now, even though this is an adventure comedy, it isn't just comedy. There are some serious moments in the movie as well. But, yeah. but the moments that are supposed to be funny, I personally found it very fucking funny, yeah. What did you think uh, of the comedy in this movie? I thought, uh, I like, there were some jokes I liked, I liked some parts, but for the most part, I wasn't really a big fan. I didn't really, I don't think the comedy uh, stuck with me personally. Yeah, that's totally fine. Mm. I hope you don't mind, I know that you're not a big fan of this movie, but I really, don't, I really hope that you don't mind reviewing it with me. Yeah. Are you okay with reviewing it with me though? Yes, of course. Yeah, alright. I'll get into my overall thoughts now unless there's anything else that you want to say. Hmm. Uh, I think my overall thoughts, I, I'd give the movie one thumb down. I personally didn't enjoy it very much, except for uh, Daniel Red Radcliffe. Yeah. That's fine. But for me personally, I had a fucking blast with it. Yeah, it was ridiculous to over the top, but that's what I love the point that I also found a lot of it very fucking funny. But I totally mm. respect your opinion. Thanks for joining me. Thanks. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm giving it two thumbs up. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. It was a fantastic day.